G'day Noah. Um, I needed to upload the before or the after swing from tonight um, and compare it to your first lesson. So what we see here in your before swing, you're taking it back wide, not much wrist cock, very high hands here, closed face, moving in front a little bit here. But what we really notice is a big early release of the, of the club. So your left arm and the golf club are in a straight line before you hit the golf ball. So what we know is you've thrown away all the power in your swing now, and now it's all about lifted up. And so while your swing's not too bad, you've just got that L extension. So missing out on a lot of leverage into the golf ball and acceleration of that golf club. So the, the, the game changer tonight, um, I asked you to and, and showed you a really floppy wrist swing. So you drag, drag the club back and then you let it set as you change direction and then turn your body through, let the club fall on the ball. So here it is here. So this is called drag loading. Now it sets on the downswing. Don't worry about the shut face. We did talk about that after, after this um, swing. So now you're shifting your weight forward, you're turning your body, your right elbow is staying tucked in, you're maintaining that angle on the way down all of a sudden now. Instead of throwing that club really long, trying to power the club head through the golf ball inefficiently. So now as soon as you come in there, now your hands are delivered well in front. Now they're extending and rolling through up into finish. So you can see there, hands get jammed up, not really rolling it over and letting it um, swivel finish, letting the wrist come over. So if I put up another player now, you can start to see your levers and his levers start to marry up. He's just not dragging it away with really, you know, as we said, floppy wrists. But as you get the club to here, back a couple of frames, so he's not really setting his wrist either. He's taking it back nice and wide, almost like he's dragging the handle back. So, but you can see there, very similar wrist angles and everything there. So he's just taking it straight back rather than having to drag it. He gets up the top, he lets it set and comes down narrow. So coming in down through here, you then let the club set and lag and come down through here. So starting to marry up a little bit closer, come down into the golf ball come down into the golf ball. So you can see automatically that's starting to, you know, resemble a lot of how Tiger's using his levers. You just had to soften it off to start with. We'll add some structure back in down the track, um, but that is quite good, mate. Well done. Um, extend and roll and turn the hips, and extend and roll and nearly roll. You turn your hips and everything. So um, we'll just keep working on that. But now I've got the actual levers and arms and wrists starting to work better in the swing. You're delivering the club a lot better in the impact. Um, we did talk about managing the club face and just allowing it to just to open up a bit on the backswing. Um, I don't mind if when you lag it and you're coming down in this swing that the ball goes a bit to the right. We'll learn to release it to square up that ball flight anyway. But um, mate, game changing lesson, well done. Um, that's a, an awesome move. Um, just practice that for me and get used to doing that. Um, and then we can add the structure and just grow the swing a bit and speed it up a little bit. As long as we maintain those levers, then we are laughing, mate. Well done. Awesome job.